Hey YouTube, this is the Jeffbird 500. I got the pole, and we are green. Oh. I, s I swear, I put this on very hard mode. And if you don't tell me if I... Don't remind me that I hit the wall many times. I know I hit the wall a lot. It's the way I roll here at Bristol. And I find it to get a lot faster laps when I hit after I hit the wall. So Man, I swear I put this on very hard mode. Oh, we have caution. I wonder what happened back here. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, the 24 just came up the track. What happened to that 84, um, 24 car? The 24 just came up the track and just hit the thir 13. Uh, I have no replay for what happened on that. Um, I have no idea what happened to the 24. I'm thinking that maybe he just cut I remember from the starting lineup that he started pretty well like ten, ninth or something now he's dropped back way way back because of a wreck I thinking maybe I don't know who would have caused it So, got lap 10 coming up right n right after I get through turn 4. My bad. Lap 10. I set my fastest lap of the race. As you notice that I start to close in on these cars that are a lap down, I'd like to point out an interesting rule that is only in effect for this series only if um you do not get bonus points for lapping cars but you do lose points for every lap that you get lapped for every time every lap that you get lapped and as i'm noticing here i see the 39 of luke 2579 and the 16 of dinotech jim the 16 is in the chase right now I also see the 88 here, and all of these drivers are inside the top 20 in points, so with these laps down, these could be, like, huge when it comes to to Richmond, so... I think Bristol might be the deciding factor of whether you get in or get out. And the way I see it right now, as I just passed the 13 right there, 1991 aerial fan. Oh, hit the 21. Um, as you notice, I'm I'm hitting a lot of cars. It, if I do hit your car, it's on an accident. I'm not very good at. Um, keeping cars, my car off of other cars while racing here. I try my best to do that, but otherwise I wouldn't be doing very good here. So, I noticed the 24 ahead of me now. He was near the, he was near the top 10. And ever since that crash happened on the third lap of the race, he has clearly not been the same as I'm struggling to lap him. I swear I put this on very hard mode. I'm not lying. Okay. Apparently Bristol is one of my best tracks. I'm just a short track racer, I guess. 
So with my ability to race at short tracks, I'm probably going to do okay during the season. If you noticed at Las Vegas and Daytona, I did terrible, terrible. I'm thinking that these short tracks will probably make up for that. We're now on lap 20. I continue. Oh, I hit the 47 there. NASCAR 47 fan. I, I nearly turned you around. I'm so glad I didn't as we have 30 laps to go. As you see, I continue to catch up to cars. I'm starting to reel them in. Yes, there's the 30 of Top Gear Forza. The 30 has been struggling through the... Oh, I hit the 77! 77! Oh, that was bad hoping that he can get restarted and hopefully continue. As I was saying, the 30, 30 of Top Gear 4 is his second to last in points, and he's, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, that could have been bad. I nearly T-boned the 77, the 77 nearly T-boned me. Now, let me continue about Top Gear 4. He's been struggling in the points. He's 42nd. He's been in last place he started the season near last place. He's not gotten out of the top 40. This could be the chance for Top Gear Forza to get out, out, to get into the top 40 in points. As you see, my cousin there, the nine, he's trying to get into the chase. With this run, I could actually make it, um, get into the chase here, at. Bristol, this could be the race that I needed. There's the six, who was the other driver involved in that lap three cra crash. I'm still leading. We are now on lap 29. There you see the 11 of Joe Swish 01. Joe Swish 01 is doing exceptional right now. He's in second in points, but this could be the day. Oh, no! 17! James Bros, turn me around. Caution's out. Caution's out. Here at Bristol. Here's the replay. I slid up the track into James Bros. The one of Mr. NASCAR 33 got him, too. Um, there's the 00A involved, the Osmist 09. I'm going to choose the outside since I know that I have a lap driver. And back green. Continue to race lap thirty three here. The 29, who started second, seems to be struggling. If you can see him, he is my rival, and he is struggling to keep up. Well, must have had an editing issue there. The 29 is currently on. I am nearly about to lap him. Now he's at the bottom of your screen. On the bottom left, now he's about to cross the star finish line. He is my rival. He started second in this race. Now he is back near the... I think he may be starting to be out of the top 20 now. I'm still leading. I've led every lap as we are now on lap 37.
Yes, yes, there you see he um the the part that says rival. He is the twenty nine who started second. I'm a, about to lap him now. I just did lap him. He did he struggling to keep up. Oh, I nearly got hit there. Now I'm starting to notice some drivers that are... Oh, I got turned by the 30, 13. 13 spun me. 13 spun me. Hit the 9. Caution's out. Caution is out. There you see the smoke and... Oh, there I just T-boned the 9. 9 slides to a stop. I'm going to choose the outside again. If I remember correctly, I think we have n ten lap, no nine laps to go. I continue to lead. It's just been a dominating, dominating lead all day. I've, I haven't really given up position very much. I've been, even though I have been hitting the wall. You can see those drivers in the back are starting to catch up to me and now the 99 of 533 Wyatt has caught up he is in second right now. If I continue to lead, this is f five laps to go here at Bristol, here in the Jeff Bird 500. Looks like I'm going to get my second win of the year here at a short track. And if you can read the top left of your screen, we have three laps to go. We are now at two laps to go. We're on lap 49 of 50. The cars behind me are a lap down. Well, most of the cars behind me. The 00A is a lap down. First car that's on the lead lap behind me is the 99 as we have displayed the white flag. The white flag is out. The next flag will end it. And it looks like I'm just going to keep dominating here coming out of turn 4. Even though I hit the wall, I'm going to win here at Bristol. Jeff Bird 500 champion is going to be the 43 of me. There you see Dino Tech Jim. As I do my burnout, I'm going to talk about Dino Tech Jim. He had been... The, he is in the chase. This run right here that Dino Tech Jim had could probably knock him out of the chase. As well as I saw the 9 of Crazy Colts Casey Fan 9. I believe that he is in the chase too. Both of these drivers could be knocked out of the chase because they were a lap down. So Bristol could be the place that could kill your points day very easily. I see my experience uh, as I Now, here's the results. Oh, man, I won the race, but most noticeably, I want to point out 6th through 8th right now. In 6th place is the 51 of Waltrip 20. He has been having a bad year. 
as well as the 16A of 66 Blaney 09. Both of them rebounded with nice, nice top 10 finish, top 10 finishes, as well as the 98 and the 56 and the 51A. There, um, just two. There have been many. Now, 00A is the first car that's a lap that's going to be a lap down. He will be the he will be docked one point, as well as the 30. Anybody? And now I start to notice that the 32nd um Joe Swisher one is going to be docked two points. Now the real killer today was probably the 88. The 88 loses four points, being four laps down. He, as well as the 77 in the 30, 38, that's the Jeff Bird 500, and that's it.